Hello everyone, my name is Robson and I am an undergraduate student of Biomedical Informatics at Federal University of Health Sciences of Porto Alegre. Rafael and me, we're going to present our work called A Platform for Genomic Characterization of Enterococcus. This is the summary of our presentation. We will let's start talking about our team, then we will introduce the work talking about Enterococcus and the aim of the Jamira platform. Then comes the methods used in development, addressing the tools used and the pipeline we developed, the results of our work, simulating how Jamira run, our perspectives for the project, and references. This is our team. It's a very diverse team, composed by biologists, which are our advisors, a veterinary medicine, undergraduate students in biomedical informatics, a PhD student in bioinformatics, and a master's student in molecular and cellular biology. So, we present Chamura, a reproducible and scalable pipeline for prokaryotic genomic data analysis, designed for the genera Enterococcus. Jamira is a project by the research group Enteromar from USPA and URGS. This group conducts molecular studies with bacteria from marine animals. The name Jamira comes from the initials of those who are involved in the project. J of Janita, A of Adriana, M of Meiske, I of Icaro, R of Romeo, Rafaela and Hobson, and the second A of Anna. We focus our study on the Enterococcus genus. In the last decade, Enterococcus have emerged as one of the main bacterial genera of clinical relevance. According to the WHO, Enterococcus is among the three bacteria with greatest clinical relevance. As they are important carriers of virulence genes and poses intrinsic resistance to commonly used antimicrobial agents including most cephalosporin, all semi-synthetic penicillins and clindamycin. Our aim was to create a platform which integrates a set of comprehensive set of genomic analysis tools for the prediction of phages, plasmids, genomic islands, antimicrobial resistant genes, and virulence factors that may be associated with the adaptation of commensal and clinical bacteria. This is the methodology applied in the development of the project. First, a literary review of the potential tools for use was made, followed by the choice of the tools. Then the pipeline was developed and the results of obtained were presented. And finally, the results obtained were validated. The pipeline development initiated by the selection of bioinformatic tools used for the identification of elements associated with successful colonization and genomic plasticity of prokaryotes. Available for tools were compared in order to select the most appropriate for the genetic study of genus Introcox. In order to facilitate installation of the software dependencies of each tool and the consequent integration in the pipeline, tools available on Bioconda platform were used. Regarding the identification of virulence factors and plasmid prediction, the abrogate tool is shown to be more versatile, allowing annotation by different query bases, such as the VFDIB and plasmid finder that databases with the same data. In addition, the abrogate software allows comparing strings with personalized databases created by the user, or that will be ideal for the platform context, making it possible in the future to create a customized database with cured and specific sequences for the bacteria of the genus Enterocox. When comparing the tools for identifying resistant genes, the RGI tool proved to be more robust than RASFinder, as it is based on homology and different SMP models, being able, therefore, to identify a wide variety of resistant genes, since it doesn't identify just acquired resistant genes. In addition, the RGI tool allows the export of analysis results in different forms of data responses, such as heat maps and pi or pi charts, and it can be of great help in interpreting data generated by researchers and professionals in field of health. Profit prediction through the FISPI tool is more versatile when compared to faster. Versatility can be explained by the use of a hybrid strategy for the profit prediction, which uses sequence similarity and an analysis of the composition of the characteristics related to the prophages, contributing to an annotation of profiles not yet published in the literature. 
The tool also includes pre-trained models for different species of bacteria, enabling an increasing precision of the prediction of prophages for nearby organisms. The last comparison made with prediction of genomic islands demonstrated that Island Path software is easy to install and has greater prediction accuracy. Island Path uses an algorithm to predict genomic islands, which considers the pattern of gene mobility, considerably reducing the prediction of false positives. In addition, the tools demonstrated a considerable difference in the frequency of the updating. The Island Path tools has been updated more frequently when compared to the Island Hunter tool, which has not had updates in the past 10 years. To build the pipeline, we used some technologies. The pipeline used the native Python programming language. In turn, SnakeMake is a framework for building that analysis pipeline that has a readable definition language, based on Python language. Bioconda was used to facilitate the installation process of the software dependencies of each tool, Abricade, RGI, PSPy, and Island Path, and pipeline integration with each tool. Besides that, GitHub was also used to version the project and Docker to ensure the reproducibility of that analysis. So, let's see how the pipeline works. In the first place, input genomes in pasta format. So, the SnakeMake file runs an individual environment execution for each tool. Island Path, Abricate, Proca, and CS5 use the Anaconda environment, and RGI use the Docker container. In the end, a data analysis summary is generated with all analysis results integrated. We are going to show this soon. Then, in this figure, we can see the Jamira workflow structure. All the tests are performed in sequence in the Jamira pipeline. Plasmid prediction, for example, are summarized by Abricate, virulence identification by Abricate tool 2, and resistant prediction by RGI. So, at the end, are compiled together in a file, the summary report. Here, we have a demonstration of how the pipeline can help. Janira used a 59 genome collection from Enteroma Research Group and GeneBank. In a scenario without pipeline, she takes three months to installation of each individual tool to do individual analysis for each genome and manual data summarization. By contrast, with Jamira Python, Jamira's mood has changed. Time reduction of all analysis for three hours, and now all genomic tools were integrated. We have execution of multiple genomes and automated data summarization. A web application of Jamira is being implemented. The application has a graphical interface that allows the analysis of genomic data files in FASTA form, dispensing software installation or the use of command line for the analysis running and configuration of the workspace. Therefore, Jamira is an automated and easy-to-use workflow that we will all science with no background in bioinformatics to perform genomic data analysis, contributing to the understanding of the difference between commensal and clinical strains, as I well was to the elucidation of biological mechanisms which will make bacteria from enterococcus genera associated with public health risks. These are the tools and technologies used in the development of Jamira. We are using the PHP Laravel framework for the elaboration of the program's internal structure and JavaScript, HTML, and CSS for the graphic interface. Initially, MySQL management systems were used for data storage, which can be changed according to user demands. We made a video to show the features, so we accelerate some steps to be able to show everything. So let's play. Now, let's see how the tool works with a simulation. Here we have the home page. On this carousel, where we will have a tutorial about how to use this tool. 
So, the menu has three action buttons. Add a new analysis, see the About page and view the genomic database. Now, here on the About page, we can find the information about the project that we are presenting now, like about our team and about their academic education. Also, the information about the platforms that were used to build this pipeline. When pressing the button, we can see the information about each tool and the reason why they were selected. Returning to the home page, here we can access the area to add a new analysis. So, to have access to this page, the user must be logged, as each user submits their own analysis. Then now, I will access my, with my information that I registered previously. Here we have the analysis that I sent. There are three analysis titles in the system, submitted in analysis when the pipeline is being executed and analysed when it's already showing results. So now we can submit a new analysis by clicking on the Add Analysis button, informing a name, a description for analysis, and the option Make Analysis Public which we are seeing here. It's for you to know if the user wants to share his future results in the platform's database with other users. Then select the genomes and send the analysis. An email will be sent with information about the submission. Here. The analysis with submitted status has an information button where we can see the details about the information submitted and see the files sent and their content. And we can also download it. The server runs what we call Chrome, which inspects the system every two hours to find out if there is an analysis being processed. The idea is that later we can handle the call of several analyses at the same time. So, let's simulate this call by line of code, since we are not on a server. Therewith, the system calls the pipeline that will perform our analysis with each of the tools used, as we can see in the snakefile file. The analysis will change their status to analyze it, where we will have the option to download a zip file with information from the results of the pipeline. And we will also have access to an HTML summary page that was also generated by the pipeline, the SnakeMake report. The public analyses are now available on the database of our application, where we can search for some analysis and see the information and results about it. These are our perspectives. So, in the future, we pretend to make Jamir available on the web so that our search can use our tool in their work. Also, we will integrate with Jamira a simple tool for positional view of results generated by comparative genomic analysis platforms of prokaryotes. That was a work developed by one of our team members and can contribute even more to our platform. Besides that, we pretend to add other tools that can also contribute. This is our references. Thank you.